When confronted with an injury to the clavicle, typically two projections are performed. The first projection is the AP projection. For this, place the patient in the supine or upright position. If the clavicle is being examined for a fracture or destructive disease, or the patient cannot be placed in the upright position, you may use the supine position to reduce the possibility of fragment displacement or causing additional injury. For positioning, adjust the body to the center of the clavicle to the midline of the table or vertical grid device. Place the arms along the patient's sides of their body. Center the clavicle to the IR. For respiration, you want to suspend at the end of exhalation to obtain a more uniform density image. The central ray should be perpendicular to the mid shaft of the clavicle. The AP axial should produce the following image as seen in the center of your screen. Notice there is evidence of proper collimation, the entire clavicle is centered on the image and there is uniform density on the image as well. The image below is from an AP axial clavicle. To obtain this image, all the procedures as done in the AP clavicle were performed. However, there was a cephalic angulation of the central ray at this time, commonly 15 to 30 degrees or 20 to 45 degrees depending on the patient.